The couple says within a week, 70% of the crop went from something like this to something like this. Right now, there's no real connection between downtown and the water. Let's take a walk. A block down, no more businesses. Two blocks, and there's some vacant lots. At three blocks, a curve in the road, and Main Street comes to an end. And the bank is still another block away. The ad says the driver of the other vehicle continued to stare at the woman as he touched himself. So she grabbed her phone, gave him a choice gesture, and sped off. It's unclear whether this was just one person or a group, but authorities say whoever it was knew exactly what they were doing. They planned this out with a knife. With past fires, the nearby Pedernales River, which is in many of their own backyards, would be able to help stop those flames from spreading. But they've never seen the river this dry before, and it goes on like this for miles. Any brush growing in between and a little wind can help the blaze spread from bank to bank. Right now, the water's about six feet below where it should be. That's all the way up here. But on the plus side, it has created an opportunity for some much needed maintenance in the park. Clocking them with a the radar on my iPhone will calculate how much these drivers will owe on Monday if they don't slow down. 33 miles per hour means a $231 fine. And 40 miles per hour comes out to $287. Okay, so it did a lot of damage. I mean, I'm able to fit down into the crack between the concrete and the asphalt, which by the way, when it broke was about as big as my arm. And to think something so big could happen with just the absence of a little bit of dirt. The city of San Marcos is taking the next step to make sure you're paying attention in school zones. In an effort to make drivers put down this distraction, crews will install signs with that warning on Monday morning. Just to break it down, a half hour on one of these machines will produce about 50 watts of electricity, which is enough to power your laptop for an entire hour. Here's the problem. The special kind of asphalt they want to use will only pour right if it's warm outside. With this unusually cold weather, that isn't happening. But it's worth the wait because it has a unique quality to allow water to drain faster and create better tire traction. It happened here outside during PE class. The boy reached into his pocket, pulled out the gun, and showed it to a group of fellow third graders. Within seconds, some very specific training went into effect. With this new method, forget stem cells from cord blood. Baby Josh is out of the picture. Doctors could take my stem cells now as a healthy adult. So if I need them later when I'm as old as my grandpa, they'd be there waiting. With a minimum of 10 hours, a high enough score, and pass a written test and the criminal background check, and you've got yourself a license.